Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and we are going to do a little bit with strings and we're actually going to find the longest, we're going to do a little run through, find the longest substring. So, alright, I'm going to pause this right here so we can work with this. Or pause this right here, look at it, copy this, and then we'll go from there. Alright, you got it? Okay. So all right, we need, and what I want when I say the longest substring, the longest substring in order. So what we need to do is we would catch A, B, C, so that would be it, then A, and also if it, if it is the same, we're going to count it. So A, A, then F, so that'd be the next longest. Then it goes back to A, starts over A, H, then B by itself, then AA. So here is actually the longest substring, and we're going to figure out a way to get this to come out. So in this series, we're going to use the tools we have. Then I'm going to redo this, and we're going to venture into a new area after this series. So, all right, let's just jump into it. So we need, I have a couple extra variables. So, all right because we want, we're we going to compare, because this is how we're going to build this algorithm, just so you can think about it. We're going to compare this with the next, and it has to be greater than or equal to, and we're going to use our as key um, function that's built in for Python. And if you don't know that, go do a search on that, come back, watch this one. I'll have a description in the... Uh, I'll have a video in the description so you can go and look at that. But it has a it as key turns every character in with the computer into a numerical value. So that's how we're going to know that these are sequential. All right. So now the next two variables we're going to do, and also just the way that we need to think about this is. that let's say this is the longest right here then we have and we need to store this and compare all the others so there's a couple things we got it going on so that's what we're going to do here we're going to we have our starting point oops this is x index 0 so we're going to start here then we need to compare this with the next letter and then so on and so forth so we're just going to continue on down. And then once this fails, once this fails, we need to store this substring. We need to have a place. And then we also need to check and see how long it is, right? So that's what we're going to do. So that's what all these variables are. So sub is the first because we have to have a starting point. All programs have to have a starting point. So our starting point is going to be A. Not A in the, in the alphabet, but A at the beginning of our string. So that's going to be our longest so that's what we're going to replace so our substring is always what we're going to be testing comparing the next letter with then if it becomes the longest so whatever think about this the first time through whichever one we're testing and it keeps getting longer and longer that's always going to be our new longest and then once it fails whatever our longest one last was that stores there and then we're going to test the length. So that all being said, let's get started in this because we need to test this for this entire length and we are going to start at the second position because we already have our starting point at index 0 so now we need to, our, through our loop, we're going to start at the second position index 1. So that's exactly what we're going to do, and all the way to the end. So there we go. So, all right. If you're a little stumped, pause this, go back to the beginning, replay it. So here's our starting point, the first letter, and then we're going to check every last letter through, and we're going to compare to see if the next is larger in the as key 
definition is if it's higher numerical value than the next. So the first time through, before it fails, ABC will be stored in long, and then we're going to test the length, and then it's going to go back to here. So let's just write this up. And this is our definition to change this to, to Unicode. So sub and also we want to just check the the last one that we are slicing through because we want as we're adding and incrementing this up so we're slicing this so we're going to compare this this to that this to that so this has to be larger than this so we need to figure out a way because so this is what we're going to do right here the last item in a list so if we're making a new substring I know this can sound complicated but it's really not so right here we have our ABC was A and B so we're gonna slice this last position and just like indexing we take our last one our last position and compare it to the next so we're gonna compare B to C so that's what we're doing right here and I should have done that do that and then less than or equal to the next LRD of I. And then if that is true, increment up by I. So all right. Okay. So we're gonna stop here and we're just going to print this each time through and let's just print sub all right so as you can see this just increments up one letter at a time and as long as it is not see how these are, are alphabetical that's what we want so this is going to be a nice little stopping point we're going to pick up here I know this can seem complicated but this is this is a good way to think about this so thanks for watching don't forget to click that like and subscribe button and most important that notification bell and we're going to finish out this series um, hoping in one more video and if it gets too complicated we might chop it up into two more but thanks for watching don't forget to leave any comments questions or video requests below and we'll see you next time bye guys